So one of the quad stretches I like to do is to lay on the ground. We sort of get in that hurdler position with this back knee. Okay, and then I'm gonna lean back. As I do that, my knee's gonna wanna come up. So here's how I can counteract that. There's two ways actually. One is by not leaning back so far, right? So if I can't get all the way down here, right? Lean all the way back, that's okay. But, um, so one thing I'm gonna do is try to use this inner thigh to help push the leg down. But the other thing, what I'm gonna do here is put this foot on top of that ankle. Now, if you can't do that, you can ask a friend or somebody to hold the knee down. Um, that's, that, that's fine. And if you can't uh, get there either, you can try a weight. Um, or you may not be able to do the stretch. You may just have to use the standard standing quad stretch. But the beauty of this stretch is it's going to stretch these TFLs, right? The, the, the muscles that generally tend to cause ITB syndrome. So it's going to stretch the vastus lateralis, the outside of the quad, the outside of the hip. All right, so we're going to just lay back. We're going to hold this for 35 seconds. Again, if you're doing this as a warm-up, skip this stretch. You wouldn't do it. There's no need to do that. You should do the dynamic ITB stretch. Um, if you need a copy of that, let me know. But we're just going to stretch here. Here we go. So one thing I'm going to help do as well to help get a stretch, I'm going to squeeze. So I'm stretching my right leg here. My right leg is the leg that's bent and back. My left leg is on top of my right leg. So what I'm going to do is squeeze my right butt muscle. And that's going to drive my hips forward. And that's going to help relax that quad even more. Now, I'm cheating right now. It looks really good, except I just noticed my back is severely arched. So what I'm going to do is bring this rib cage down. And when I do that, you can see my knee come up. So don't let your back arch excessively, right? Try to hold that core nice and stable. And that's time. We're going to switch to the other side. Oh, yeah. And we're going to do the same thing. So when we lean back, it's typical to let this rib cage rise up like this. What I want to do is keep that rib cage down, keep the core engaged. That's going to put more to stretch back in here and not in our low back, right? Our low back is going to compensate by arching so that this doesn't stretch as much. It's not what we want. All right, so I'm going to put this down. I'm going to lay back. Oh, man. Here we go. I can feel. I'll pull my core in. Now, I'm not arching my back nearly so much. And you can see this left side is tighter for me. Can't get that knee down. And that's pretty normal to have one side tighter than the other. And breathe. Don't hold your breath. Squeeze this butt muscle. Hold the core. Time. All right, well, that's gonna do it.